Hey guys, Arpim here. Hope you're doing well. Having a really great day this video. I have a couple issues to talk with you guys regarding these uh, bit axes. I've been having a few issues with a few of these not really hashing anymore and uh, the screens have been cutting out on uh, two of these bit axes. I have different models here like I have the Bidax 201, uh, two of the Bidax 401s which I think are called the Supras and then I just got in one of these Bidax Gammas okay which are pretty cool but I think the number here is 600 which is called a Gamma, Bidax Gamma. Then I just got another one in here from Bitcoin Merch. This is a Bidax uh, 601. So this is also a Bidax Gamma as well and I want to give away this one here okay so right away just comment down below, I guess, your guys' thoughts with anyone that has these, you know, bid axes, uh, any model over the past month or year. And uh, if you guys have had any issues, let me know down below. So just get your comments in, everyone, and I will choose the winner after 24 hours. I'll pin your comment. If you've won, then you just got to email me your shipping address. I will send you this brand new bid axe gamma from Bitcoin merch. Comes with the power supply and stuff as well. Okay, so I'm gonna take you guys along with me here. Okay, so I've had just, you know, these little bit axe miners for a while. I've, you know, done videos on these, but over the past year, I have to say I've had some issues with these. And, you know, I've done like firmware updating and uh, occasionally the OLED screen goes out after a while. And in order for it to come back up, I have to take out the power and then plug it back in and then it works again. So I know that there are places where you can just buy an extra screen. I think they're like five bucks or something. I'll have a link down below, but I haven't ordered any spares because I've just been simply, like I said, just taking out the power, putting it back in and the screen comes back up. So I don't know if that's an issue some of you guys have been seeing. Then the big one, I have two of them here that are just not hashing at all. Okay, so I have one here. Let's see if we can see here, which I'm going to bring you guys in the computer. We're going to do a firmware update or a factory reset of the firmware uh, of, of this BIDAC. So you see right there, the hash rate shows zero giga hash. Okay, so I just plugged these in, turned them on. This is a 401, so this is a super, I believe. It does 600 uh, giga hash, not like the Gamma, which I think does uh, we have 1.2 tera hash, which is pretty cool at like... 21 watts, 21.5 watts I have going for that uh, bit X gamma I just got recently. You guys may have saw that video. But then I also have uh, another one here, another 401, that is showing zero giga hash as well. It's not even mining. I have it mining uh, or solo Bitcoin mining to my own node. See there, zero giga hash. So it's connected to the Wi-Fi. I can get to the web GUI on each of these guys here. Okay, no issues, but yeah. So I'm gonna try a factory reset. Gonna go to their GitHub. I'll show you guys in the computer and see if that will resolve the no hash rate issue. So let's go into the computer. Okay, so I have the three web GUIs of the bit axes I just showed you guys. So I have the uh, 201 here. Oh no, sorry, this is the 401. Then I have another one here that's another 401 on uh, version 2.4 and then i also have this one here which i think is the 201 okay bit x 201 so yeah i'm having issues on all of these they're just none of them the bit x 201 here only hashes that looks like 7.65 giga hash then the 401s here are not hashing at all okay i think these are the supras which is supposed to get like 625 giga hash or so so what i want to do okay is uh update the firmware and i was just looking on the github of I guess ESP miner and this is where just last week they had a bunch of fixes here okay I'm not going to go through them all here but you guys can just see here which I'll have a link down below uh, if you guys are having issues as well but just looking at over the past couple of weeks looks like they've had another uh, a bunch of other fixes firmware updates last week and yeah the one that I did maybe a couple of weeks ago was 2.4.0 so this one here, I don't know if this, like it was mining okay, like on version, I don't know, two point something, 2.1 or something long, long ago, it was working just fine. But ever since I firmware updated these, they just stopped working uh, in 2.4. So now that there's 2.41, I wonder if this will rectify the issue I'm having 
on this one. So let's just, yeah, I'm just gonna try updating it. So I went to, uh, here's one of the 401s. Okay, so I'm just gonna go through updating just one for now. Let's just, actually, let's do this one here, 401. So I'm gonna go to settings. I'm gonna go scroll down to check latest release. Okay, looks like there's a new version, so 2.4.1. So I'm gonna download these two files, okay? And uh, actually, I did that already, but uh, just to show you, gonna keep these, okay? So I downloaded the those files here. So now I wanna update the firmware on this 401. So I'm gonna browse, then I'm going to click on the one that I just downloaded today. Yeah, it's gonna be this one here. Okay, make sure it says esp-miner.bin. If it has like a one or anything, it, it won't upload. So I'll show you here. Look at that, it says incorrect file looking for esp-miner.bin. Has to be the exact, um, uh, has to be the exact words. So I have to refresh here. Go back to browse, go click on this one, then it says working. Okay, so it's going to update now. And then we got to update the uh, the website file as well. Okay, right after this. Okay, so it looks like that's done. Okay, I believe it's rebooting now. And uh, yeah, okay, we're going to update the file update website. We're going to do www.bin. Okay, open. And it's going to update that as well. And it should take a couple seconds there. Okay, so that's done. Now, okay, let's see if it rectified the issue I'm having. So let me refresh here. Okay, we're on the cur current version, 2.41 now. Okay, I'm gonna control F5 just to refresh everything. Okay, it looks like it changed the, uh, the web GUI look as well. Okay, all right, I think it's working. We're at 767 giga hash now. Okay, and I am going to my Bitcoin node. So let me see. Uh, let me fre refresh my Apollo 2 here, which I am mining to it. It has its own solo stratum uh, Bitcoin node. So let's just see here. This is the Bidax 01. Okay, so let me show here. Does it show up? Yeah, Bidax 01. Okay, finally. So that does show up here. And looking at the hash rate, yeah, it looks like it's back up to 766 gig hash. Probably it's going to just fluctuate here. Okay, so while that's going, though, that looks good. Looks like the firmware update fixed that. Let let's do the other one now. Okay, let me, let me update this one, okay? So I, I already downloaded the version, so I'm just gonna go to browse, uh, esp-miner bin, I hit open. Okay, takes a couple seconds, it's gonna reboot, and then I'm gonna update the ww bin. Okay, uh, let me just see here, that was quick. Uh, it's just rebooting, okay, just came back up. Okay, gonna go to update the website now, www.bin, open, okay. Let's see if this is going to fix this 401. I'm sure it will. If this one's working, yeah, it looks like uh, looks like this Bidax is finally hashing now. And uh, just to verify, yeah, hash rate is climbing up on this solo Bitcoin miner. Yeah, Bidax 01, 127 gig, uh, gig hash, five minutes. Yeah, it's still climbing up, so that's good. Okay, so let's see if this one worked. Okay, so that one just finished. We're gonna go back to dashboard and will this one start hashing? Let's see, we're in version 2.41, log. Yep, I'm gonna control F5 just to refresh it. Okay, it just came back up, 56 seconds. This has the 1368 uh, chip. Okay, is this gonna hash? So far, it's not looking good. This one is not hashing. Mm, verifying we have the right version. Going back here, okay, nope. Uh, so this one continues to mine. BM1368 chip on this 401, which works, okay. But this one, okay, is not working. BM1368 uh, 401, 2.41 version, okay. And it's not hashing. This one, I think, is broken. Okay, so I'm on the bidax.org uh, website, official website. It says bidax is fully open source Bitcoin miner. So I'm gonna try their online Bidax firmware updater. Okay, this is where I actually have to plug in, uh, they're on the side of the Bidaxes, there's a USB-C port. Okay, so I'm going to plug that in. It says you need to hold and press the boot button on your Bidax before plugging it in. Okay, in order to enable flash mode. All right, so I'm going to, I'm gonna try that right now. So I have the Bidax here. I'm going to hold the boot button Okay, there's a button right here on the left, and then I'm gonna plug it in. Okay, and then I'm gonna plug in, I have a USB-C cable, 
okay that goes into my computer okay that we're gonna then connect to the bidax web gui okay so usb-c okay so that's plugged in so i'm back at the computer we're gonna hit connect okay and i do see it i do see it here com3 uh connect okay select device okay so this is the i gotta make sure i hit the right one this is the 401 so this is the supra i believe so it needs to be yeah this board version 401 uh, select firmware version 2.41 okay and then i'm just gonna hit start flashing and let's see if it reflashes okay so be right back okay it says flash 100 percent complete okay it says flashing completed successfully device has been restarted okay so i don't see anything on the screen okay i'm gonna unplug the usb okay uh, i'm gonna unplug the uh, power cable okay let's plug it back in okay it looks like it's bidx self-testing okay it looks like it's it is coming back on looks like i'm probably gonna have to connect to it by wi-fi with my phone set it all up and it looks like we got an looks like we got an error here it says fail uh zero chips test fail long press boot okay i'm gonna long press boot here on the side Okay, there we go. So I don't know if that means it's broken or not, but uh, let me connect to it with my phone and uh, we'll go back to the web GUI. Okay, I just uh, connected to it. I'm putting in my uh, information, gonna hit save. Okay, let's see if this thing works. Connected to my SSID, okay. And, oh, it's working. Yes, 401, yeah, one minute ago. Yeah, this is it, it's working now. Uh, let me check. So this is the uh, old one here. Uh, 238. No, that's the... Oh, I removed the other one. Uh, this is the one I don't want. That one didn't work. Now this one is the one that does work. So, okay. So this is working. Yes, Spidex01 okay, is connected. Now this is the second one that we just did the former update through the Bidax web GUI. Bidax02. Okay, looks like that's working. Let me see if it shows up on my own solo pool here on the Apollo 2. Bidax 01, Bidax 02. Yes, showed up two minutes ago. Yeah, here it is. All right, it's working. Yes, so that worked. The Bidax web flasher worked. Okay, so I'm going to do the exact same thing on the uh, GIMPT 201 that I have, the Bidax 201. Okay, so let me do that right now and uh, I'll let you guys know how that goes. I'll be right back. Okay, that worked. Yes, thank God. I set it all up again, connected to my Wi-Fi and uh, set up the settings and now the 201, uh, Bidex 201 is able to mine. Thank goodness. Looks like all three of them are all mining now. The ones, pretty much I had issues on all of them. Uh, doing the manual, I guess, uh, through the update you know, to their new version on through the web GUI seemed to work on one, but then I had to use the Bidex Utility Flasher right directly from their website seemed to work on two of them. Okay, so, oh man, thank goodness. I thought these things were bricks. I thought these things were just dead, but uh, yeah, it looks like they're all hashing just fine now. That one has some giga hash. That one also shows giga hash. And this one is also is also mining now so thank goodness yeah that one right there yeah look at that seven is that 700 it's too small 700 giga hash here's the 201 the bit x 201 and yeah this one seems to be hashing as well 400 giga hash around there here's the bit x gamma and then here's the other bit x gamma from bitcoin merch all right guys we're gonna give this one away all right so i already announced how to do that you guys have probably already commented and uh, just give me your thoughts on these little guys uh, if you think they're worth it or not or if you've had any issues with these uh, comment down below I'll choose the winner random common picker for this bidx gamma thank you bitcoin merch for this one uh give and give this away okay guys that's it for this video success fixed all three of these bidxes which i was pretty much having issues uh with all of them simply by doing the firmware update and uh, doing it through the web so that seemed to work all right i'll see you on the next video let me know your thoughts have a good one
Peace out. Peace out.